Hello Primary 4, how are you today? I'm Misar, I'm teaching science and today we're going to talk about types of adaptation and Fox's adaptation. You should know that we have two types of adaptation primary 4. There are two types of adaptation, structural adaptation and behavioral adaptation. Our first type is the structural adaptation. Structural adaptation, so the change happens in the structure of the animal's body. So structural adaptation is the change in the structure of animal's body to adapt its environment. Our first example is the penguin feed primary four. We said that penguin feed has blood vessels that weave around each other, which allows the penguin to walk on the ice or the snow. The second example for structural adaptation is the polar pair. We said the polar pair has white thick fur, which allow its body to be warmed in the polar climate. The second type of adaptation is the behavioral adaptation. We said behavioral, so the change happens in the behavior of the animals. So behavioral adaptation is the change in the behavior or the act of group of animals to adapt their environment. Our first example is the desert lizard primary four that search for shaded area in the hot sunny days. The second example for behavioral adaptation is migration of some animals or birds to another region. This is types of behavioral adaptation. So we have a structural adaptation like the penguin feed change happens in the structure of the animal's body and we have behavioral adaptation like migration of birds or animals to another region and this is behavioral adaptation change in the behavior. Now we're going to talk about foxes adaptation. We have two types of foxes primary four here. We have fennec fox and we talked about it before and we have arctic fox. This is the fennec fox and this is the arctic fox. As you can see we have two colors of arctic fox. Let's know why we have two colors of arctic fox. At first, we're going to talk about the fennec fox. We said that fennec fox live in desert super. So the habitat or the home of fennec fox is hot desert. Fennec fox has a structural adaptation and behavioral adaptation. We said that before that the fennec fox has tan colored coat or sandy colored coat, which allows the fennec fox to hide or blend with the sand of the desert landscape and to sneak or to catch its prey easily, right? So the structural adaptation of fennec fox is that it has tan or sandy colored coat. Also, it has extra large ears, extra large ears. Why? To allow the fennec fox to lose heat to cool its body. So the extra large ears of the fennec fox allow the fennec fox to lose or to get rid of the heat to cool its body. Those are the structural adaptation of the fennec fox that it has tan colored or sandy colored coat and it has extra large ears. Okay, how about the behavioral adaptation of fennec fox? Fennec fox primary four pants like dogs. <sighs> this is the meaning of pants. Okay, so fennec fox pants like dogs 700 breeze per minute. 700 breeze per minute. Why? To cool its body. This is a type of behavioral adaptation. This is a type of behavioral adaptation. Also, it lives in bars and eat different types of food like fruit or insects or even plants fruit. So, behavioral adaptation of fennec fox that it pants like dogs 700 breeze per minute to cool its body and lives in bars and eat different types of food like fruit, insects or plant fruit. This is the fennec fox primary four. How about the arctic fox primary four? Arctic fox lives in place called tundra primary four. Tundra is a type of desert that it change its climate from summer to winter. Okay, so the first, the structural adaptation of the arctic fox that it has thick fur that it changes its color according to the climate primary four to camouflage and blend or hide from its predator or its prey to sneak on them easily and catch them easily. In winter, the tundra has ice, so the color of the fur of the arctic fox became white. But in summer, that in tundra there is no ice, the color of the fur of the arctic fox became brown. So in winter, the color of the fur white. In summer, the color of the fur 
is brown why to camouflage with the change of the tundra climate also it has short legs and short special shaped ears it has short legs and short special shaped ears why to help the arctic fox to stay warm at winter this is the structural adaptation or the change in the structure of the arctic fox to adapt with the surrounding the behavioral adaptation primary for that it lives in burrows like fennec fox at night to warm its body against the coldness of the cold climate or the snow also it eat different types of food fruit or insects or plant roots like fennec fox so the behavioral adaptation of fennec fox and arctic fox are similar they live in burrows and they eat different types of food like fruit insects and plant roots now we're going to talk about the bull shark primary four bull shark has a structural adaptation and behavioral adaptation like any animal the structural adaptation of the bull shark primary four is that it can live in both salt water and fresh water okay it has dark back and white belly why to use these colors to camouflage with the counter shading strategy so it uses a camouflage strategy called counter shading strategy and we will talk about it next slide also it has sharp teeth to cut its prey flesh so it has sharp teeth to cut its prey flesh or meat easily this is the structural adaptation of the pole shark how about the behavioral adaptation the behavioral adaptation of the pole shark primary falls that it can hunt in the day and at night so it's a break can to predict when will the this shark will hunt next time so the behavioral adaptation of the pole shark is that it hunts in the day as the night so it's a break can to predict or can't know when it will hunt next time now we're going to talk about the pole shark counter shading strategy of camouflage counter shading primary four it's a camouflage strategy in which a pole shark uses its body color which is dark in the back and white in the belly to sneak up on its prey it's a camouflage strategy in which pole shark uses its body colors dark back and white belly to sneak up on its prey how if there is any prey above the pole shark it may not see the pole shark very well in the shadow why due to the dark back of the pole shark how about if there is any prey underneath the pole shark any animal that or any prey that swim underneath the pole shark and looking up the pole shark may blend in with the bright light of the sun so due to the white belly of the pole shark this prey or this animal can see the pole shark very well so it uses the counter shading as a camouflage strategy to sneak up on its prey and catch them easily with its huh, sharp teeth super this was our lesson for today i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and share goodbye